Welcome in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to share with you on how I'm making my masala tea. So I'm going to start by blending my masalas. Masala is a blend, a meaning of masala is a blend of variety of spices. So my base is basically the cinnamon and the cardamom. And I'm using a quarter of star, a half of star anise and uh, about seven to eight cloves and 15 to 20 peppercorns and about a quarter of whole nutmeg so before i grind it i like to remove peel the skin of the cardamom i'm only using the seeds which look like this and we're going to put this in a spice grinder and just grind it into a nice fine powder now you can use any kind of spices that you're comfortable with i know some people like to use fennel seeds some people like to use cumin seeds i'm not a big fan when it comes to tea with those kind of spices that's why i'm not using it but if you want you can go ahead and use them so now i'm ready to make my tea i'm using a quarter teaspoon of the masala and some ginger and i've got my tea bag over there and if you don't have fresh ginger you can use powder one that would work as well so i'm going to get my water ready and my ginger and my masala i'm only making one cup of tea and then some sugar if you will or condensed milk i don't mix both so this time for this tea i'm using the sugar once it comes to a boil i cook it further boil it further for about uh, three to four minutes then i add the milk now the ratio of the milk is equal if i use one cup of water i use one cup of milk and I like to use whole milk. That's my personal preference. And we're going to bring that to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, you're going to stir it. And then reduce the heat and cook it further for about three to four minutes. And that's it. Now my next tea is my regular tea. I've got fresh ginger and I'm only using cardamom here. And since I happen to have sweetened condensed milk from my ice cream, I'm going to be using it for the tea as well. <clears throat> okay, so this one I'm making two cups of tea. It's the same process the way I do with the other teas. Now the cardamom over here, this one is with a skin. It's There's no rule as such, but it's just my personal preference. And I used about half a teaspoon of uh, cardamom. And again, I'm just going to bring it. To a boil but this time this one is a soft boil and then i add the condensed milk now when i use the condensed milk i do not use a sugar i don't mix the two together again that's my personal preference and then uh, once that's a uh, little bit cooked then i add the milk and then again bring it to a boil and then cook it further for about three to four minutes And our tea is ready. It's very simple. And uh, I've been asked for this for quite some time. I do apologize. It's taken me that long. So now we're ready to serve the tea. So I'm starting with my masala tea. It's a little bit darker than the other tea. And um, that's about it. And you can have it with your cake, your biscuits, with your samosas, whatever you want, with your mandazi. So thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Aroma of Zanzibar. You'll find all the ingredients in the description box below.